Welcome to another growing season update. As we reach the final stretch looking to harvest, I've been out in the fields looking at cobs and I've seen some western bean cutworm. This pest creates holes in the husk, allowing mold and other fungal spores to colonize in the ears and reduce grain quality. For each larvae per plant, the Pioneer article estimates yield loss from four bushels an acre to 15 bushels an acre. The western bean cutworm came in late this year, post tassel, and for these reasons, I think yield loss will be minimal. Pheromone trapping is the most common and economical way to monitor adult movement of the western bean cutworm. Usually we set traps the beginning of July and monitor them through the middle of August. If a trap count suddenly spikes upward over two consecutive trapping dates, it's time to start scouting for eggs over the coming weeks. We do have the ability to spray insecticide if the western bean cutworm meets that threshold. Mild winters, continuous corn on corn production, reduced use of foliar insecticides in corn, and reduced or no till are factors that contribute to increased western bean cutworm pressure over the last three to four years. Pioneer provides a variety of products with VT genes to help protect against these insects. If you have any questions or concerns about western bean cutworm, please let us know. We'd be happy to set up pheromone traps to monitor your fields next summer. Have a great day.